you listen to sometimes the young voices speak and you get inspired. And that was something to hear last week and I've talked to him since. Young man I'd like to introduce, maybe to finish this up, is a youngster named M Manny Guzman. Come on up here, Manny. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Gambone. Thank you very much, uh, Senator-elect Judy Swank. I'm glad that she's representing my district of Reading, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Um, and I'm hopeful and I'm hopeful that, uh, actually I'm pretty confident she's gonna do a pretty good job representing our district and uh, filling in the great shoes of uh, Senator Opaque. He was a great man. Um, I talked to him a lot um, as, a, as a youngin growing up in Reading and uh, he gave me a lot of inspiring words to try to, you know, to be where I am today. So I'm really thankful for the words that he gave me. But the reason why we're here today is doesn't really have to do with that, but has to do with uh, some of the cuts that we're seeing right now uh, that uh, Governor Colbert is proposing in his educational budget. It's absolutely ridiculous that us as students, um, and um, Senator like Judy Swank just uh, just talked about it a little bit, about student loans. Let me tell you guys how many, how many student loans I have out right now. I have about $35,000 of student loans out, and um, I live. I live in. The, I live in the. I live in the Reading area right now. The the unemployment rate right now in Reading is about 12% unemployment. So I'm thinking to myself, how in the world am I going to pay back $35,000 with the job market already bad around around the United States, but especially in my hometown of Reading, Pennsylvania, where it's at about 12%. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm never going to pay this back. I'm, I, it's going to take me years upon years upon years, and what the governor's proposing right now, I mean, I'm graduating in May, so it doesn't necessarily affect me, but it affects you underclassmen. It affects the prospective students. It affects those students that are in our inner city schools right now who, um, who, ha who, who are having a hard time as it is, you know, trying to, trying to live up to something, trying to, trying to aspire to a dream. And these cuts are literally cutting the feet out from under them. They're cutting the feet out from under us, which is the bad part about it because we, we are the future Pennsylvania. The future Pennsylvania is not sitting in jail cells. The future Pennsylvania is not sitting, you know, not sitting at home, you know, collecting unemployment or, or I mean, I shouldn't say that. The future Pennsylvania isn't collecting welfare and just sitting on the behind. No, the future Pennsylvania is here right now, studying their butts off to try to become something in their lives, to try to become the first person in their families to graduate college, like I'll become when I graduate in May. Yeah! But but it's not only that. It's not only that. It's it's about the first people. It's about the first persons in their families to graduate high school. I was the first one in my family to graduate high school. I will be the first one in my family to graduate college. But it's not about me. It's about my brothers. It's about my sisters. It's about you guys. It's about your families. This is what this is what this budget really directly impacts. It impacts us, but it not only impacts us as students at Kutztown University. It impacts us as students of Pennsylvania, as the future of Pennsylvania, because. Our, um, our brothers, our sisters, they won't have the same opportunities that we had to try to become something. I, I will be the first one in my family to graduate college, but unfortunately, if this budget stands, I'll probably be the last one to do so. And it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Yes, it is. It's a damn shame because you know what they ask? They ask so much from us. They think that just because we're young, we're apathetic, we don't vote, we, we don't voice our opinions, we just sit on our asses, we drink, we go to shorties every day, like, you know, like we're made of money, right? This is, this is, what, this is what they write about. I'm not sure if you guys have read any of the, uh, the comments on, um, or, on some of the articles from last week, but I sure did. And, you know, some of, the, some of the comments that these people said, you know, that we're lazy, we should be paying for our own education, our professors are making six figures, these guys are rich. You guys are rich. I can't believe it. They're putting they're putting the blame on us because you know what we because we want to be somebody because we want to go and we want to achieve something that maybe our mothers and our fathers didn't achieve. We want to achieve the American dream. Oh my goodness. Since when since when has that ever been since when has that ever been bad? Can somebody tell me since when has that ever been bad? Never. But what is Governor Cobra proposing to do right now? Kill the American dream. Kill the American dream. And the American dream revolves around our ability to become productive, globalized citizens. 
This is what we come to college for. We come to college to compete in a global economy. Because right now we're getting our butts kicked by China, we're getting our butts kicked by India, we're getting our butts kicked in, by Brazil, by all emerging economies right now. Yet, yet our education system here in America, and as Barack Obama said in his State of the Union address, in order for us to win the future, education was a big component of that. Education. But not only, not only K through 12 education, higher education, and even higher on top of that, because you know what, we need more, we need more people with doctorates, and we need more people with masters. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what, the future, our future bankers, our future doctors, our future lawyers, our future writers, everything, everything you can think of is right now sitting right, right in front of you guys. We're standing right here. We're standing right here. The future is not the future is not yesterday. The future was wasn't two weeks ago. The future is today in the standing right here, and we're begging, we're clawing. You have to continue to call your legislators. Continue, continue to pound on them because this is outrageous, outrageous what they're trying to do to us. And it's not about me, and it shouldn't be. And and you shouldn't think it's about you while it might directly impact some of you underclassmen. But it's about the future of availability of higher education and the accessibility of that education. Because the reason why most of us decided to come to Apache Institution was because of the affordability and the accessibility of our education. Now, if we wanted to go, if we wanted to go to Penn State, where we were paying fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year, do you think we would have went there? No. We don't want to pay that much to get a quality education. We have quality professors. Quality professors, quality here at Kutztown University. 80 something percent, 80 percent of Pashi graduates stay in Pennsylvania. 80 percent of us. So those of us who are going to be graduating, 80 percent of us will be staying in Pennsylvania, contributing to our communities, contributing to the economy, contributing to the overall, overall Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. This is ridiculous. What he's trying to do is ridiculous, and it hurts me. It should hurt you guys, but mostly it hurts me because, like I said, I have brothers and sisters right now who are going through the Reddick School District, uh -huh. which is about 15 minutes that way. And and the Reading School and and Reading High School, my uh, my high school alma mater, has a 58 percent dropout rate. 58 percent dropout rate. I was one of those kids. I was one of those knuckleheaded kids. You know, I, I mean, can, couldn't nobody tell me anything? You know, I had write-ups. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know, but yeah, I had disciplinary write-ups with my teachers. Had a Bible stack when I graduated. I was one of those knucklehead kids. So I understand. I understand the plight. I understand the struggles. I understand the 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 commonalities that we all have. But it's because it's 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 about it's about our right to succeed. It's about us beating back the stereotypes against every, all all our peoples. It's about that. It's about us telling them, you know what? I'm not gonna let you tell, I'm not gonna let you define who I am. I'm gonna define that for myself. Yeah.